In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save lots of money on Ethereum network gas fees, especially when it comes to transactions like staking or unstaking. For this example, of course, I'm going to use Axion Network, where you can earn passive income in the form of Bitcoin dividends on your stake, up to 36% APY, plus liquid dividends which can be withdrawn at any time. So, as you can see here, the current gas price is 74 guay. That's extremely high, and when you try to stake or unstake, it might be a fairly high cost transaction. Most people tend to wait until the gas price is down below 30 guay before making any transactions, which makes it much cheaper. Instead of waiting, there is a trick you can use where you edit the gas fee on the transaction. When doing this, the transaction won't process instantly, but it will automatically finish processing once the gas fee drops below that price. So if you click on the gas price indicator here, it will take you to ethereumprice.org slash gas. Here you can see a chart of gas over the last seven days. As you can see, it spikes quite randomly, sometimes spiking up to well in excess of three or 400 guay. The last few hours, or the last 24 hours really, it's been going uphill and it's quite expensive and really I don't know when it's going to be back below 30 to stake but if you look carefully you can see at times it's been as low as 20 or 19 guay so what you should do when you get to this chart run your mouse along and just see what the lowest numbers you can find are and for our transaction you want to set it slightly higher than the lowest number so I see 19 I'm going to go three above that and use 22 so if I go back to the staking platform so if I go back to the Axion staking platform, I can see that I've got some Bitcoin dividends here, which I can withdraw. I've got $73 worth. If I click withdraw, the gas price is going to be fairly high, $31, especially whilst the gas is up at 74. So rather than waiting for the gas to drop down and come back later to withdraw these, I could click edit edit suggested gas fee and here I could lower this gas price currently it's suggesting 67 but I know from looking at the charts that it's been as low as 19 recently so if I set it to 22 what is going to happen is it will stick pending on the ethereum network until the gas price drops below 22 and then it will process so that might be in 12 hours time or it might be in a couple of days time but it certainly beats having to do it manually. So if I set this to 22, I'll see the gas price is a much more reasonable $8. It's important to note that this is just an estimate and in reality, you end up paying about 60 to 70% of what is shown here. So it could be even cheaper. So I'll click save and click confirm. You should now see your transaction up here under pending transactions. Withdraw VCA dividends. And if you click the link, it will take you to Etherscan. On the transaction, you'll see the gas price which we set, 22 guay, and you'll see the current gas price of 74. So this is now gonna sit there pending until the gas drops below 22. As you can see here, estimated duration at least one hour. It's important to note that when you do this, no other transaction will be able to be processed from your wallet address. If you try and create any other transactions, they won't be processed until after this one has finished. So it's best to use this tactic just before you go to bed, for example. And hopefully, by the time you wake up the following morning, gas would have dropped below the price that you set and the transaction would be complete. By doing this, you can save an awful lot of money on your transactions. Please note, you should only ever do this on transactions that don't have fluctuating prices. For example, a stake or a withdraw or withdrawing your Bitcoin dividends. There's no fluctuating prices, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't process immediately. If it takes several hours or a day to process, it's always going to go through. Whereas bidding into our auction or making a transaction on Uniswap, if the transaction doesn't go through instantly and takes several hours to process, the price of the asset that you're purchasing may have gone up or down far too much during that time, which will mean your transaction will fail. But as long as you're using this method on stakes and withdrawals, it should work every time and it should save you a lot of money. 
Don't forget that in Axion's auctions, you can buy Axion at a great discount. Currently on Uniswap, one Ethereum will get you 24.9 million, whereas in our auction, one Ethereum can get you up to 32 million. When you stake that Axion, you can earn liquid Bitcoin. If you ever have any questions about Axion, feel free to join our community on Discord or use the live chat feature to speak to one of our experts.